everyone, welcome back to another episode of Top Deck, the series where we talk about cards in Commander that would be great to top deck in any game and that don't get enough playtime and are almost underrated in the format. We'll be talking about the card itself, its pros and cons, and why it would be overall a good card to pull from your library at any given time. As always, we are going to be giving you as much information as we can while trying to keep the whole thing under or as close to 5 minutes as we can. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so getting right into the card, Dictate of Erebos is the one that we've chosen for this episode. Dictate of Erebos is a 2 black and 3 of any color enchantment. This card has flash and the ability that whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Now what's so great about this card is that it forces your opponents to sack, which in itself can be a game changing thing even if you're not running a sacrifice intensive deck, because forcing your opponents to get rid of cards that could be detrimental to the existence of their entire deck getting rid of those just takes those factors out of the game. It also has flash, so you can flash it in as your opponent is casting a board wipe against you, which would be really crazy because then for everything on your side that dies, same amount dies on their side. Now the thing about this card is that it's in only 24,026 decks, meaning it's only in 11% of decks that people have made on EDH, which to me feels extremely low for a card this crazy. So now we move to the pros of Dictative Airbos. One of the great pros of this card is it can be used in tandem with Tesa Karlov. Now if you're unfamiliar with that, it is a fantastic commander, it is black and white, and its ability allows you to double the amount of times that a creature dies, and if it triggers a specific ability, as in when a creature dies do this, which is a perfect example of what Dictate does, it'll basically double that. So with those two cards put together, every time that a creature on your side dies, two op opponent has to sack two creatures instead of just one. Another great pro for this card is if your opponent is using such cards as Butcher of Malakir, where it essentially does the same thing as Dictate of Erebos. Once one creature dies on either of your sides, it wipes the entire board of all creatures, which is extremely crazy and is a constant infinite combo. Another great one for if this were to occur would be if you had on the battlefield a Yeheni Undying Partisan, because you could boost your Yeheni so much from every single death trigger. And lastly, one of the really great pros about this is it's just a sack outlet. If you're running a sacrifice intensive deck, then you can create a bunch of tokens using things like dragon fodder, and you can sacrifice those things using things like Ashnod's altar or a blasting station, just to be able to sacrifice those creatures, forcing your opponents to sacrifice probably their more important creatures, where you're just sacrificing things like tokens. And now we move on to the cons. Now the cons for this card can be pretty much obvious in the fact that you know it costs five mana to cast it is three of any color but two black and it can be really hard for you to get that out and you're most likely only going to be able to get it out mid to late game unless you're able to somehow cheat it out early on which if you can can be really helpful to you but otherwise it's looking like you're not going to be able to get it out until a lot later and the other one is actually part of the pro in the fact that if you end up having to have someone using Butcher of Malakir type cards, it ends up wiping the entire board for everyone if a single creature dies, which is an, an innately a bad thing depending on where you are in the game. It could be bad for you or it could be good for you, so it, it's kind of a pro and a con. Overall though, this card is extremely good to be playing, and it's definitely an underrated card because if you're playing at any point in the game and you happen to top deck this card, it can be a complete game changer even if it is early in the game and you are able to get it out, but mid to late game it can be extremely crazy in the way that it changes the entire board state because it can clear everything or it can just annoyingly make your opponents constantly be sacking everything which would honestly just make them hate you more but they really can't do that much about it because you know, what are they really going to do? Are they going to attack your creatures? It's just going to force them to sack their own. But uh, overall that would be Dictate of Erebos, a really good card. Uh, I run it before I really like the card and it's a personal favorite to me so uh, that's pretty much it for this video don't forget to go uh, follow us on Instagram we uh, follow us on our twitch we just started one of those we stream roughly every Wednesday night we've been trying to keep it to a pretty strict schedule and I think we've done pretty good so far so go check us out on there which roughly a little after 8 p.m. On, on Wednesdays and of course remember to like and subscribe uh, like this video subscribe to our youtube channel we could really use a lot more subscribers and we like every single one of you that subscribes and remember to hit the notification button so that you know when we're posting a video 
and we'll make sure to be putting out videos just like this as often and as frequently as we can so without further ado that is this episode of top deck i will see everybody in the next episode peace